What's up, guys? It's Machete Panda, and I am back with another episode. It's actually episode two, um, even though this is the one on the screen. But yeah, another episode of our uh, Farming Simulator 2022. Very excited. This is only the second episode um, for uh, Farming Simulator 2022. Just got it. Um, super cool. Super excited. And I think um, we should probably just get started, get right into it. Uh, if you recall, in our last one, our last uh, episode, we had um, picked up a farm from Uncle Ben, who passed away, left us a farm. And uh, we were going to go ahead and, and work this farm. Uh, we had harvested a few fields. Um, we had planted some seeds. I think for this one, we're going to take on some contracts. I'd like to do that. Um, I believe we... Uh, also, I also want to take a look at some new content. I want to see what else is in the downloadable content. So we're going to do that now. Uh, what do we got here? You know what? I want tractors. Mm -hmm. Tractors would be fun. Selling points is always helpful, too. Well, fish farming. That's interesting. <laughs> How many stars? Four and a half, not bad. Great. That's a little shot. Aunt Emma shot. <laughs> Aunt Emma. Mm. Christmas market? What is a Christmas market purchase? Oh, so Christmas trees, sales stalls. Oh, it's it's like a whole. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's only in version one though. Kind of like to see an update. It means they're coming back to it, you know. Stone selling station. Hmm. Um, interesting. Should I install it? How many stars does it have? Four and a half. Passes that test. Let's do it. Let's install the stone selling station. I think there is already a stone selling station somewhere, like at the quarry or something. But government drain? Okay, interesting. Manure and slurry dealer. All right. Chicken egg tent. <laughs> what else do we have here? Sell everything. That's. That's cheating, almost. That, I don't like that. Sell everything. Oh, there's a series of selling stations. Uh, what do they got? This will only sell as you use of progressive maps, a placement on flat ground, placement of choice. But this is a forge dealer. Okay. Grain mill plus. What is grain mill? Added ability to grind corn into corn meal and co crack corn. That sounds cool. So there's a whole industry section now, apparently, where you can progressively, like, you drop your grains off. They turn it into flour. You can bring the flour to the bakery. Um, they turn it into bread or whatever else. And then you can take that to the train station. So like, you can buy all these industries and create a uh, product line, um, ultimately, that continuously increases the value of your crop uh, with each uh, pass through. I'll just say this is just you know that. All right, I'm not gonna do, take any more looks at that. That's just taking up too much time. Get too excited about this stuff. Um, let's take a look, quick look at tractors. Look at a whole John Deere series here, wow. What's this one that I've got highlighted that's a five? That's a five. That's five stars. That's rare. These are, oh, there's not all five stars. There's a couple of five stars. Wow, this one's doing horrible. Why is this still in here? Yeah, so let's do, I'm just gonna pull this five star. Like, I don't know how it got five stars, but that's pretty cool that's got five stars. This one's got five stars. What is this thing? I've never seen a tractor like this. It's an old and rough tra looking tractor. 
Jeez. Doesn't have a lot of horsepower. Um, all right. Let's see here. We've already got this installed. and this, We got the one from um, Giant Studio installed. This one right here. So we don't really want anything else right now. So. <laughs> Autonomous. All right. John Deere. Interesting. I have never seen this kind of John Deere. Clearly not ex exposed enough. All right. I'm going to stop there for tractors. What I really interested in, harvesters. So there's a gigantic John Deere harvester that holds 22,000 liters. That's a 19,000 liter one. I wish I remember the, remembered the name of it. This might be it right here. Um, no, that's only 10,000. I wish I remembered which one it was. I already have this one installed. This one's 14. Here it is. This is the one. The S700 series. What's this one over here? I think it's the S700 series is the best we're going to do. All right. Um, with some extra headers here. And it's got five stars. We'll install this one. It's got five stars. So we can have some extra headers. And what's the capacity of this one? This is new to me. I don't see the capacity down here. Oh, is it down here? Down there. Yeah, I'm going to take this one. How many stars is it? Five. Perfect. Let's take this one. Because you can track this one. Put tracks on this one. That's awesome. It's going to be a white, long time before we get this one, but that's okay. And what else do we have here? 6F series. That's a, seven, that's a 700 series. So that goes perfectly with this one. Corn headers. I wonder if we should grab some corn headers. What do you guys think? I think we should grab some corn headers. Hit like and subscribe. Um, I think I'm going to grab corn headers. I know you're getting dizzy because I'm flipping through this stuff so quickly, but I want to get into the game as quick as possible. So I'm kind of flipping through this stuff a little, a little fast. And I understand that can be annoying. But I really want to take a look at this stuff. It's a 12.3 meter. Let's pick up this one too. It's got four and a half stars. All right, I'll, I'll stop there. I promise I'll stop. Uh, I swear I'll, I'll stop there. I'm just going to exit right. Interesting. Now. And oh, wow, is this a real one? Is this real? Did they actually make this? So I mean, I should, I'm sure they make the X9, but are the stats right? That's the question. Because I don't want fake stats. Because there's some cheaty ones out there. I'm gonna install this. I'll look it up later. All right. <clears throat> um, where were we? So let's go back to our farm. Um, I started doing a little test game over here. But um, we're gonna pick back up at our farm. One of the things with Giant Studio is that once you install a mod, you have to actually turn it on. I think they're off by default. There we go. Great. Oh, we don't want precision farming on. That was the other one I bought right there. All right, let's get started. I'm going to have to remember where we were and what we were doing because I honestly do not remember at all what we were doing. Um, I'm going to have to jump around and figure it out, see which, what vehicles we have strategic, strategically placed where, you know. I do know we bought a, um, <clears throat> a, a lawnmower or a mower so that we can cut some grass. Um, we do have a baler, so that should come in handy. All right, where are we? We're at the house. 
All right, so this puppy's here. We've got our harvester here. Fantastic. Let's just tab around all the different vehicles. All right, so this guy has fully and totally finished that field. And... All right, I think we got two fields of canola. Is that right? I think we got two fields of canola. Like this is canola. Yeah, that's canola. And then over here, I believe, is canola as well. Or was this just a plowed field with nothing in it? Yeah, hey, canola here. All right, we're going to plow this field. We're not going to plant canola in it. Because um, if we look at our 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 planting map, um, we can only plant canola here, and the harvest period isn't for like a year. So what I'd like to do is kind of wait through winter, doing contracts, and then start focusing on what I'm going to plant um, for next winter. So I could plant some oilseed radish. Maybe I should plant some oilseed radish. So. Oilseed radish um, helps uh, fertilize a field. And I think I'm going to plant some oilseed radish. I'm just going to take our plow. And we're going to plow this field right here. And once it's plowed, we're going to drop in some oilseed radish. And with that oilseed radish, we should be in a very good position to... Um, get started on on things just gonna wait for him to pass by before we pull in there gonna make it let him make one pass before we start this setting this guy up all right let's check out contracts while we wait um some good contracts in here i mean some harvesting contracts in here hmm more harvesting contracts. We could do harvesting contracts. We wouldn't even need to buy it, to borrow any of these things. Which one pays most? Field eight. Field eight is going to the cereal factory. All right, let's take a look at field eight. If you see field eight, just holler. All right, so field eight is way up here. It's going to the cereal factory, which I think is somewhere down here. Cereal factory. I got to pay attention to the icons. So these icons now actually mean like, you know, factory, sell point, all that stuff. So field eight needs to be delivered to the cereal factory. That's not too bad of a haul. That's not bad. All right. Let's do that contract. Um, if it's still available because they disappear quickly. All right. Yeah. And we're going to borrow the items. I really do not want to have to occupy my stuff for that for those contracts zoom out i hate how it's so zoomed in i like to be nice and zoomed out be able to get a view of everything and it's really helpful because um <clears throat> one of the issues is that you do not have uh depth perception in video games unless you're wearing like the oculus or something like that but for the most part you're not getting your depth perception so being able to do this and understand exactly how far something is away um, helps quite a bit and that's why i like to zoom out and i appreciate that that's in here with a lot of simulators they have that capability it just makes the game more fun and less of a it makes it feel less chory you know kind of feel like it's chore some video games and this game has a couple very chore chore feeling <laughs> games to it um and that's uh their projection so if i come into the map here i can actually click on uh, a piece of equipment and i can actually set a destination now which is something that you weren't necessarily able to do before. So that's very convenient. So now he should drive off on his own and he'll take this over to that field. So 
the next step is to get this guy set up. And all this equipment has to be like completely folded and uh, ready to go in order for you to uh, leverage that tool, so to speak. Gonna drop it down, connect it in, release. Hopefully it's on there. Oh, it snapped on there. It snapped to that point. That's fine. Back up. Gonna click on. Gonna pull away. And then we're gonna set this guy up to go to that field. Whoa, whoa, that was bad. That was bad. Whose equipment am I destroying right now? Which farmer was this? Set destination point. I wish it showed you where, like with a dashed outline or transparent outline, where certain equipment is on its way to. Because um, I certainly don't want to stick it so that they're on top of each other or something like that. So let's see what other contracts we have. So we're working on that one. That's the most expensive one. Hmm. I don't want to do fertilizer because you have to buy the fertilizer. I don't like that. I don't think they pay you back. Maybe they pay you back now, but they didn't used to. Field 24 to the farmer's market. There's field, there's field 24. There's a farmer's market. Johnson's farmer market is, but is that the same farmer market? Hmm. Hmm. Green pool. All right. All right. All this equipment is all well on its way. Oh, we totally forgot to get this uh, cedar planter started. So let's get the get in this guy. It's probably our most expensive tractor of all of them because this has a PTO on the front and the back. Oh wait, oh, 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 what was I planting here? I was planting oilseed radish. Why didn't I change that? Let's change that to oilseed radish. There we go. All right, nice. There it goes. Good deal. And then you plow over the oilseed radish, um, just mix it back in with your soil once it's grown, and um, it becomes fertilizer. Just now the ground is fertilized, so. That's always a bonus, guys. Always a bonus. Calendar. I don't know how long it actually takes to grow. Hopefully it doesn't take four months. But yeah. Okay, hey, worker H is blocked. Where's H? Oh, that's fine. I mean, he's at the field. That's all we really wanted. Just to get him over to the field. And now we'll just park him out of the way so that when the harvester gets here, he's not in the way. And then... Uh What is this guy doing? He is confused. All right, I, I just fired him. He was no good. No good at all. And drop off that trailer, drive right through our neighbor's field. I'm pretty sure that the neighbor would not like this. 
so we'll just take some kids like randomly came in and messed up his field we'll blame it on you know some random people that way we're not getting ourselves in trouble um I'm trying to figure out what to do here I think I'm going to sometimes it's nice to make headrows <clears throat> but I think I'm going to just do it and see what happens so and he's harvesting nice great these guys are going along good all right good deal ah uh, well everything's happening and working about i think i kind of want to jump around the map and just see just take a look at stuff and see what's up let's start over in the corner here So this is a farmer, Johnson's Farmer's Market. Um, clearly, they've been having a rough time because, honestly, it's pretty dead here. There's no cars parked in the parking lot, so there's not even, like, the people that own the building or work on the building. They're not even here. Everything's just kind of, like, left, left to rot. I don't know why there's yellow cones there. Hmm. All right. Well, that's cool. I mean, there's nothing too crazy or impressive down there. So let's just go to the sawmill. Will not let me jump to the sawmill. Whoa, it is loud here. Oh my gosh, it's loud. Wow, look at all this equipment. Isn't this cool? I can't use any of it. I can pick this up. Motor oil tin can. Nice. Ooh, another tool right over here. Can I push these carts? I cannot push these carts. Oh, boy. All right. Hmm. And this is where you sell sawdust. All right. Or wood chips, rather. All right. Well, that wasn't too cool or exciting. Animal dealer. Oh, okay. Nice. Wait, I can grab these? Oh, I guess I can't grab these. Okay. That's fine. Nice. What's that? that thing. It's a bright yellow thing over there. These pig pens. No, these are these are cows. This is cows. Do not fall in with the cows. Whatever you do. What is this? Oh, it's like a little uh a little it's hard to collect. Oh. They're collectible. Oh, like Easter eggs. Oh, that's cool. Huh. And we got $1,000 from it. That's pretty cool. So there's little Easter eggs hidden all over the map. It said there were only a certain number, though. I don't didn't see... Wow, they are all over the place. This is another one, right? What is that? No, that's a cow. This one's a cow. It is a collectible, though. Collect. There's multiple sets of collectibles. All right. Well, we got to find these collectibles. Um, wow, that's just free money. I wonder if they have any more. They did not have this in farm. Maybe I, maybe I just never looked hard enough. Maybe it wasn't number nineteen, and I didn't look hard enough. I don't know. Um, I wonder if they're only hidden inside of buildings, or if they're also in forests. 
that would stink if they were in forest. It'd be nearly impossible to find them all. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep taking a look at some of this stuff. Um, all right, so we're down here. We hit here, hit here. Let's go up here. So this is a grain drop off. Sell point for the grain. I wonder if there's a collectible up there. I'll bet you there's a collectible up there. I have to figure out how to get up there, though. Probably one of those pipes. I hate how you can't climb up ladders. Nice. Pretty cool. Let's Another one. This is a different one. There are so many sets. I found another one. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Uh, I just want to go looking for collectibles now. I've got the collectible bug. I mean, how many could there be? I've watched several uh, Farming Simulator 2022 videos and series. I mean, not all the way through, but they never talked about collectibles. See, I have a feeling these tilted ladders that you can climb up are here for a reason. And I think that reason is to get me up there. Because there's a collectible. I knew it. I knew it. Yes. All right, uh, are there any more? Is this hammer collectible? No, it's just pick up object and throw object. I'm gonna throw that object. She's, oh no! Oh man, it's good things no, there's no health points in this game. That would've been death. Any more collectibles up here? Hmm. Mm, nope, no more collectibles. All right. So that's that's a, that's just another um, grain sell point. Um, the gears are supposed to mean that they're part of a production chain. So when it's part of the production chain, like I I don't exactly know how the chains work, but I do know like you can bring something to one spot and then it produces a product and then you can bring that product to another spot and then it produces another product and so on and so forth until ultimately you're bringing it to the railroad and selling it off so a good example would be um maybe you have to gather grain and put the grain into a mill the mill turns out flour bring the flour to a dairy, not dairy, a bakery. And then you have to get milk and then you bring that milk to the bakery and then they can make like a cake or something. And then the cakes that they produce, you can bring to here and sell them off. So um, I'm forgetting what we're doing because I am really distracted now wanting to find collectibles. The maze, so this is a maze. And I'll bet you there's collectibles in that maze. I'll bet you right in the dead center of the maze there's like some kind of collectible or something. Right, let's take a look at the spinnery. This spinnery is loud. All right, I don't see any collectibles. I got to get on these roofs because they're putting them up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, another collectible at the spinnery. Of course, a sheep at the spinnery. Oh, hold on here. So I found a sheep at the spinnery. Wait a second. Hold on. What else uses uses cotton? Not a restaurant. Um, not a biogas plant. Not a bakery. Not fast food. Oil mill wouldn't. Debris crusher wouldn't. No. Rain pool east no carpentry. Um geez, I'm 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 wondering if it's just like you go to the next process of the uh of the cotton and then you can get more collectibles. It's probably the farmer's market, but we were at the farmer's market. So I guess maybe it's not the farmer's market. 
And what's this up here? Is it only at these points that you can jump to? Oh. I get it. You get it? You get it? Ready? Mm. Ah, come on. Boom! Oh, I rock. Look at that. Yeah! All right, are there any more collectibles around here? Maybe. So now I'm looking everywhere. But what was this place? Wait, what was this place that we're at? Red Marble Bowling Restaurant? What would bowling take? What kind of stuff would bowling take? That's weird. Hmm. All right, uh, what's this electric charging station? There's got to be collectible in here somewhere. There has to be. Look at all the pipe work and everything. There's got to be something. Nope, that's nothing. Aha! Yes. I wonder what happens when you catch them all. So I'm slightly diverted from our, our uh, original task here, which is to farm and make money to the point where we can buy enough fields, combine them all into one field, and get 200,000 liters of of uh, product from one field. Oh, listen to sloshing. All right. Um, well, where did I go? Oh, I'm over here. All right. And I'm looking over there. Let's just go to the oil mill. What kind of collection would be at an oil mill? Comment down below. Oh, here's a collective right here. Horse. Can I pick up a horse? I can't pick up a horse. 